heat number two of our open females. They are currently just outside of uh, making that uh, top heat. Lane one, IRA Relentless. Lane two, The Plot Twist. Lane three, Quad Squad. Lane four, TaylorMade. Lane five, Pack Life Energy. Lane six, ATG Gen Sanity and the Mon Bells. And uh, lane seven, CrossFit Troopers. Lane eight, Tiger Valley Titans. Lane nine, DOP, TJOP, and Bride Broke. Lane 10, Mustang Sally's. Lane 11, Josie Beast Tees. Lane 12, Wild Coast Babies. Lane 13, NHC Crocs. Lane 14, Art Axe, Axe's Goal Diggers. Lane 15, Three Yard Girls. See those ladies on your screen there, and as we mentioned before, the most packed powerhouse battle for the open ever. And you can see the competition as all these ladies still have a chance to possibly sneak into that seven spot. That seven spot gets them into the final, and off they go 10 minutes. It's an am wrap. Round one will be 16 toes to bar, synchronized, eight burpee uh, to pull up, synchronized, four uh, rope climbs, 28 buddy deadlifts, or they can go with one on the bar, they don't have to do two. Then a 30 meter handstand walk, that is round one. Then they'll move into round two, 16 toes to bar, eight uh, burpee bar muscle up, four legless rope climbs, 28 buddy deadlifts, and then 30 meter handstand walk. Round three, 16 toes to bar, eight bar muscle up, synchronized, four leg, uh, four rope climbs, 28 buddy deadlifts, and then another 30 handstand walks. However, when they get to round three, they will not go back down to round one or round two. They will stay in round three. So the remaining time, it becomes its own little mini AMRAP of round number three, where they try to get as many rounds of round number three in uh, that remaining time. As we see here, yeah, a lot of the athletes now onto their burpee pull-ups. See some of the athletes choosing to kip, some of the athletes choosing to go strict. Honestly, I would uh, try to kip that. I know it's a little bit harder coming from a jumping position to try to kip that burpee, uh, that uh, pull-up. But that will save you a lot of arm strength because you're going to come into those ro uh, rope climbs and it's going to be a lot harder to get to the top there if you have uh, those biceps and forearms pumped from doing strict pull-ups. See some of those ladies on their rope climbs already. Lane number one, looks like they are our current leaders. Lane number one, IRA Relentless. Lane two, the plot twist. And it looks like the plot twist cycling that bar a little bit faster, so they look for them to come off this bar in first place. Iron Mage, Merrill, also used to be an OCR athlete, come a very, very long way to uh, get to the point where she is now. Just a couple of weeks ago, she was in another competition and uh, she got the biggest deadlift. I think it was 160 kgs that she pulled. So lane one overtook lane two so lane two came off that bar in first that's the plot twist but then came the handstands and i are a relentless on the handstand walks oh she's going to be sent back when we look at the rest of the field here we have uh, three yard goals art axe gold diggers mhc crocs wild coast barbies they were all on those deadlifts there and now they're heading into those handstand walks. Here comes uh, Lauren. She is also an exceptional athlete, very strong athlete. 
That is quad squad in lane three. And over some of these athletes go to finish up their 30 meter handstand walks. You can see there a couple of teams finishing up. And they are on to round number two now. On to those toes to bar once again. Once they're done with this, they got eight burpee to bar muscle up synchronized. And here we have, uh, I believe that is lane number 15. That is three yard goals. Starting to pick up the pace just a little bit. But those, it looks like those hip flexors taking some strain. If you've ever done uh, toes to bar, you know that those hip flexors start taking a lot more strain than the abs do. And it starts getting real difficult to get those legs up. And then that, the factor that we've spoken about a couple of times here, that grip. When you start making it into round three, and you start doing round three a couple of times, that grip is absolutely shattered. As you see, ladies on the right there, they are on their burpee bar muscle ups now. They got eight of them to complete. Remember the sink is at the top. Lane 15. They, they kind of there. They, I think they're in a top three position at the moment. Big fight to get up there, and they get up. It's gonna be a difficult one here to call because at the moment the field is split up drastically. We can't pinpoint a leader just yet, but we're gonna see who gets to that deadlift bar first, and then we'll know exactly who our leader is. But it's great to see, this is what we're talking about. The strongest field in a battle history ever. And we're seeing it because the competition, no one's walking away with it. It's all been very close in heat one and heat two so far. 3.30 left for these athletes. Looks like lane eight has snuck into the lead. That is Tiger Valley Titans. Here they are on your screen now. They're on those rope climbs. And they're moving into their deadlift. So yes, Tiger Valley has taken the lead here. That's lane at number eight. And this just shows you the back and forth battle between these teams. It's really exciting. We love to see it here in the studio. My producer gives me the thumbs up and a smile. He's enjoying the show here. Nice back and forth action. And these ladies here are absolutely pulling that bar and getting a massive, massive lead at the moment. I've seen no one else go on to those deadlifts and as I say that deadlifts are done for lane number eight and only now do we see lane number one IRA relentless in second place going to their deadlifts so they are 30 reps behind sorry 28 reps behind beautifully done look at that unbroken Will she make it back? And I'm not 100% sure, but it might be the ladies from the Tiger Valley Titans. Tiger, Tiger Valley Titans, Titans lane, number eight. Comes down, remember, she's got a, a checkpoint there. We're going to have to check from the judges. And we've got another team. Let's see if we can get the ladies from the Tiger Valley Titans. 
And I think we're going to see a massive, massive change up here in terms of what that leaderboard looks like. That cardio workout is going to be essential for that final. Who's going to sneak into that final? It's going to be uh, an exciting one later on. And we will be uh, getting a walkthrough for you. So as it's happening on the floor, I'll be on the floor there with the athletes. It's going to be quite exciting. Can't wait. As we come down to the final 40 seconds, and it looks like lane eight will take this one. Final 30 seconds. They got two more. Final rep. No rep there. They need one more. As we watch the other athletes all on their handstand walks. And they just sneak in a bar muscle up. Lane number eight are definitely walking away with that heat win. And then we'll have to see. Did the Samson Lionesses do enough to get ahead of uh, the Tiger Valley Titans? This is going to shake up the points all across the board from uh, that first heat to this heat now. We also still have heat number three. Unfortunately, we won't be able to cover that. But heat number three might throw a spanner in the works and absolutely shatter that leaderboard. So we'll have a look at those leaderboards a little bit later on don't go anywhere make sure that you hit that bell notification button we are going to be doing a walkthrough of the cardio workout a bit later so that bell notification is important make sure you put it on so you know exactly when we upload that video